Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn how do you write data frames to a new CSV file. Including this, we are going to learn multiple different arguments related to two CSV or two underscore CSV for writing a data frame to a CSV file. So let's learn everything in detail. Why delay? Let's get started. So the very first thing we will do, we will try to write a data frame to a new CSV file. So let me show you my CSV file. This is how my CSV file looks, which has got very minimal data. Now what I need, I'll go back and start writing the code. Uh, let's insert a cell below and start writing. So I'm saying import pandas as pd. And then I'm going to create a variable called df, which is going to hold the data from that CSV file. So the very first thing we will do a read function. So for that write pd dot read underscore CSV. This is very important to remember read underscore CSV. And here we will pass the file path. So here is the folder which has my file. I'm going to shift right click on this particular file. Shift and right click, then you should find copy as path. And I'm going to simply write a R string and pass it. So here my data frame variable has got the entire file. Okay. Now what I want, I would like to write this DF or the data frame variable to a new CSV file. For that, simply use this data frame variable dot, there is something called two CSV. This is not, it's not write CSV, it is two CSV, data frame to CSV, that is the meaning. And all you need to do is pass the path, okay. So here I'm writing a R string and instead of this products, we will simply write new CSV. You can put any of your given name, whatever you like. So once this is done, if I'm going to hit on shift enter, okay. So it has quickly processed it. Let me go back to the location, file location. And you can see the new CSV file got created. Let me open this file. You can see it's a comma separated value file. Give it a few seconds. And you can see the file got created, okay. The file got created. However, what if, if you see, look at the file, it also written something called index numbers, okay. It has also written the index numbers. What if you don't want those index numbers? You don't want those index numbers. Now, in that case, how do you write? All right, let's insert a cell below. And here, our new CSV file contains that. So, I don't want while it writes the index numbers to go. Okay, so for that, simply pass another argument called index equals to false. Pretty simple. Okay, index equals to false. Now, before you write, ensure the new CSV file has been closed. Let me close it. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So please close it. Let me hit on Shift Enter. You can see it has been processed. Let's go back, open the file. Give it a quick second. Now you can see the index number which was there has been removed. So you have you are you are writing a data frame without the indexes. Okay. Now let's learn write specific columns okay let's say you like to only write specific columns right now in your new csv file you have got products price in stock category what if i need only products and i need only in stock rest i don't need products and in stock these are the two things that i need now for that let me first close it and uh, start writing the code so how do you write simply copy this Okay, copy this and we have to add one more arguments here called columns. What is it? Columns equals to and I'm going to pass the column names that I really need. So for example, if I refer to my original Excel CSV file, this is the column I need products. So let me copy this. So I will pass this products here, put a comma and then let's say I need in stock. So let me copy this and here I'm going to paste it. So these are the only two columns I need. 
while it writes to the csv okay now shift enter if you run it and now go back to the location and open this file get few seconds okay so the new csv file has opened and you can see this time it has only got two columns products and install so this is how you can control what exactly you like to write to the csv file okay now sometimes you don't want the headers so if you see my file had headers right so if you see products and install even i don't need this headers without headers i would like to write so how do i do it now without headers if you would like to write simply copy the same line of code it remains the same just that i don't need headers if you don't need headers you have to pass another argument called headers header it's not s okay it's just header equals to and i would write as false now if i am going to shift now before you do a shift enter ensure this file is closed okay otherwise you will definitely get an error so shift enter now i hope it has already written if i go back and try to open this particular file and you can see now the columns are not there you can see the in stock product so those columns are not there only the values have been written so these are couple of very important arguments related to the right csv that you have learned today so let's move on to our next topic